this is so much fun. Oh, no. It's like heaven with games. When you get in it, you're in a whole different world and it feels so cool. It's like you don't exist on Earth anymore and you're just in a different place that you've never been to before. Hi, my name is Miss Leona Crew, and I'm a teacher here at St. Kevin's Junior High, and this is my grade six class. Invented VR. Great, that's a great question. So a number of different inventions had to happen for VR, the VR that we have today. So there's no one inventor, but if we look back to about 1968, there is a university researcher named Ivan Sutherland who created a head-mounted display that was connected to a computer. So we might think of that as one of the first sort of VRs, but the cool thing about that is that it was like so heavy that they had to connect it to a tether to the ceiling so that it would, because people couldn't hold it up on their heads. Why do people play VR games instead of regular games? Ooh, um, I think the appeal of VR games is that it is so immersive. You're completely surrounded in this world, this digital made up world, um, and you really feel like you've been transported to another place. You're, you're in it um, rather than looking at it. Yeah, that's why I like it as well. How is it so realistic? How is that possible? Ooh, if we're talking about realism, um, in VR, a lot of that has to do with immersion. Immersion is is about convincing our, our brains that we're what we're in, what we're experiencing is is real. So sound, the visuals all around us. Well done, Captain. And then you can have uh, what's called haptics. And haptics is like when you feel uh, in the controllers when they vibrate. Oh my god! When you touch something and it vibrates, that sense of interacting with something and then getting feedback is a way that we sort of convince ourselves and immerse ourselves more in that space. Usually on VR chat, on certain games you will go to, people will get bullied for what they like or they will swear a lot. I have heard people hitting themselves and falling into stuff. If I stay on it for too long, I get a bit of a migraine. So we know that when you're in VR, you do experience things as being more real than when you're looking at a flat screen. And so things that may be upsetting to you, things that may be frightening, things that may be startling, those all hit harder. And we certainly have heard of cases where people have seen disturbing content and it has led to nightmares. The first time I put it on, it was kind of scary, kind of creepy, because it was all like 3D. familiarize yourself ahead of time with technically what you need to do to leave the game. So if somebody is asking inappropriate questions of you, if they're harassing you, if they're saying racist or sexist things in your presence, anything that is upsetting to you, you want to be able to leave quickly. And you also want to familiarize yourself with the tools that 
uh, limit things like contact and harassment. So you want to be able to know, for instance, how to turn off in-game chat or how to limit chat with just people that you know offline. Things like headaches or vision problems um, that you can get when you're using it too much. Um, and that's just like, you know, with the, too much screen time. And then there's kind of the other injuries from the like environment around you where you're using VR. Let's say if uh, you're using VR and you trip over a coffee table or you run into a wall or another person. And from that, you can get head injuries or concussions. Follow the instructions um, and the guidelines that are for the VR set themselves. Um, make sure the environment is free of kind of clutter and um, anything that you, um, you know, if you can't close your eyes, you, you might trip and fall over. So just have a big clear space. And then also too, just making sure you're not using it too much so you can prevent those other things from happening like the headaches and the vision issues. <laughs> it looks really fun. It's a really cool different world that when you put the goggles on, you look and everything around you looks so much cooler. There's something there. I think it's just a fun way to interact with your friends and just like share ideas, whatever you want. Well, it's definitely very fun. I really enjoy it. <laughs>